Hello beautiful people and welcome to another video. This art deco looking buffet was probably one of the dirtiest pieces of furniture I've ever worked on. Even though this isn't really art deco, it was meant to look like it and art deco was all about luxury and opulence and I'll do my best to give it back to this buffet. First I removed the varnish and the stain just to see what was underneath and what I was working with. I was originally thinking to keep it as natural as possible. I wanted to get as close to the original color of this veneer as possible, so I used oxalic acid to bleach it a little bit and to remove any stains. That's gross. I tried many different tools and many hours later I was pretty happy with the result.
This is just the aftermath of removing this felt thing. This is so annoying to remove because it's really stuck on, but I was able to get it out in one piece. Just had to soak it. When I first opened this buffet, I didn't even want to think about what I would need to do to the inside, because this looks like a lot of work. Fortunately, I think this is shellac. And if it is, this should be a pretty simple solution. Let's find out. That was easy, wasn't it? Hope you guys are enjoying this video. I wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who's supporting me via Buy Me Coffee, my Amazon wishlist links, or by hitting the super thanks button. That makes a huge difference and I really appreciate it. All the links are in the description if you're interested. Thank you.
So this was not me. This was under the stain. When I stripped it, I found out that there was a problem. So I used different stains and furniture markers to kind of match the color. And when I bleached it with oxalic acid, I purposely bleached around it just because the veneer was a bit more yellow. And I used very fine furniture markers to fake the grain. And it actually looked pretty okay. So I mentioned that I wanted to keep this natural color, but if you ever work with old veneer or old wood, you can never get it to its original color. And I knew that I would either have to use some sort of whitewash or something like that, and I didn't really want to do it. So you'll see what I decided to do. Yes, I went the complete opposite and I stain it black. And I think the reason why is because this is meant to imitate Art Deco pieces. And this was all about staining wood to look like more expensive exotic species. So those stains were usually dark. And dark is also more elegant and luxurious. So I thought that this would be very suitable for this piece. I've been waiting for more acetone so I can finish the inside and I just got it but as you can see I've already stained the outside and I'm very happy with the color. If you like the color just don't leave any hair on it okay?
Just a quick shout out to Andanda for sending these items to me. They're not sponsoring this video and I'm not in any way affiliated, but they did send it for free and I'll put links in the description below if you're interested. So unfortunately, these were not brass, but the hinges were, so that complicated things a little bit. As always, if you guys are enjoying this video, comment, like and subscribe as this helps me tremendously and I will love you forever. Thank you. So because I didn't want to do anything with the hinges, which were very nice, I decided to use a real gold leaf on the pulls and the knobs and they looked almost identical. This project has been a journey, but I think I've been able to capture the spirit of Art Deco furniture and make it luxurious, opulent and elegant. Let me know if you agree with me down in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.